An abandoned Birmingham tower block ready for demolition, but there's one family that still have to move out, a family of peregrine falcons. So we're going to tag along with the experts today as they go in to check on this young peregrine falcon family. And because it's a tower block, it should be slightly easier than usual to get close to the roost. That said, apparently the lift has been taken out. So once at the top, it's time for my closest ever encounter with peregrine falcons. They are, of course, a protected species, so demolition work here has had to be halted at a cost of thousands of pounds. And this is becoming a problem in Birmingham. I think every single tower block that's disused, we, we, we are going to have to check for uh, breeding peregrines because they will go on to these. There are ideal, ideal positions for them. This pair in particular, they're habituated to tower blocks and they've successfully raised young in the past and so they come back year on year onto different, onto different blocks and in many ways it resembles their natural sort of cliffside uh, habitat. Across Birmingham, we're seeing booming bird of prey numbers. The kestrels at Aston University have bred once again this year and there are reports of buzzards and even red kites in the skies over the city. But back at the tower block, well, we still haven't found that third remaining peregrine chick. So, to keep disturbance to a minimum, we switch to our tiny mini camera. And there, at the bottom of the picture, is the third chick, not quite ready to leave the nest just yet, surrounded by pigeon wings left over from lunch. Unfortunately, we can't leave a load of derelict tails just for peregrines, but, but what we can do is we can make a little bit of provision, put some boxes up for them, um, encourage them into there and, and, and let them fledge and raise their young. Three young peregrines will soon be starting their life in the second city. David Gregory, BBC Minutes Today, Birmingham.